Hey guys, and you know, Gex is just like uh, one of my favorite series, even though he's completely forgotten. And his levels are just great. And I've decided to do a top 10 levels on Gex. I'm including boss battles and everything but the hub worlds. And it's from Gex 64 slash Under the Gecko and Gex 3. Let's start. Mystery TV is just like an awesome level. It's not as memorable as the other levels, but it's still fun. I like how Gex looks, and I like how you can use your magnifying glass to go on stuff, like the bear, and the enemies I thought were hilarious. Those guys, and those guys, and I love the maze. So Mystery TV is my number 10. It's just not as memorable as the others. Gangster TV is one of the later levels in the game, and kind of where I started getting bored, but this level kept me hooked. I like how it's just its feel. I really like the music. It's one of the best in the game, and it's I like how it's a mafia. That's just awesome, the mafia-like. Definitely one of the more age, older ages levels, and I it was one of the, it's kind of repetitious and hard. That makes it number nine. Now, this is one of the not as creative as a few others on this list, but I still like it. And I feel that it's just got nostalgia. You're a gecko fighting ninjas. That's epic. Really epic. Plus, the second level of it, that was probably the most non-linear level in the entire game. Probably. The music is nostalgic, and it's just awesome. Making it number seven, I think. The Army Channel felt a lot like Conquer, but it was before Conquer, I think. And it's just one of the better levels, in my opinion. I like the war feel. That's just awesome. And how you can screw around with the machine guns and stuff. That's cool. That's, that's fun. And the best part, hands down, was the tank. That was so much fun. You could add any music and it'd be awesome. So that makes Army Channel number seven on my list. Here's some awesome music with the tank. Toon TV has to be the most nostalgic level in the entire franchise for me. And I haven't played the original Gex, so I don't know. And it feels like a Saturday morning cartoon. That's what it feels like. And I like how it parodies Looney Tunes perfectly. You're Bugs Bunny, he's Elmer Fudd. He takes a bazillion hits, you die quickly. That's funny. And it was really creative and was like a cartoon level. It was really crazy, too. I really like how this level feels. That puts it at the number five spot. Being awesome. Like Just about any review I've ever seen says this is probably the worst level in the game. No, it is not. I think it's awesome. I think fighting the demon elves and the missions were just funny. That was funny. Like carving the statues to be Gex, that's funny, man. Plus, this level had a bit of nostalgia. Fighting Santa as a gecko, that's epic and funny at the same time. I don't get why people like Gex up says. It's bad to be the starting level, and it's just not very good. The worst level is the, the Mythology Network, and the music just wasn't that good. It makes it number five, though. <laughs> Fairytale TV is one of those lovable levels in a game that's evil like this. Gex's costume allows him to fly, and it feels like it was all the little stories put together. Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs, Jack and the Beanstalk. And, um, something else. I can't remember, though. Climbing up the beanstalk was fun as hell. And even though it was really challenging, I thought it was really funny to fun and funny to bounce up. Plus, the jokes in this game and the humor was really high. The music is okay for the level, but it's not that great. And I just really like this level. And it deserves to be on the list, and it's the number four spot. You're freaking Godzilla! Fighting Mecha Rex. That is freaking epic. Awesome music time. I 
I don't understand why Gex up and people think that this is the worst level in Gex 64. It's not, in my opinion. I love the atmosphere and it's nostalgic and the only thing I think that it doesn't make it as good as the air thing, but that doesn't ruin the level. I love how it parodies Star Wars and the music is just awesome. One of the best in, in the game, in my opinion. And it definitely deserves the number two spot. The only thing wrong with it, there's actually one more ahead of it. Anybody who's played any Gex game knows that this is the best level in the franchise. This level is kick-ass. It's freaking awesome. The design is beautiful. It's just amazing in design. And I love. And there's definitely the most nostalgia. And the costume, in my opinion, is the best in the whole franchise. Best. And the enemies were funny as hell. I mean, like, you're fighting anime schoolgirls. That's funny. And you fight giant robots. That's funny and epic. And this level just did any everything. It was also one of the most non-linear levels, with possibly the best music in the whole game. And it's sad to see Gex has been forgotten, because I miss levels that are awesome like this. And this jet level just did everything. And it was actually a level that I was willing to go back and play again, unlike every other level on this list. I'm serious. So this has to be the number one. It just has to be. So this has been my first professional top 10, and I gotta say, what's yours? Leave a comment! Or, well, you don't have to, I would recommend it. Gex, sadly, has been forgotten, but maybe he will, he will return. I, comment, rate, subscribe, you better subscribe, you better subscribe, I'm watching you, you better subscribe, my subscribers better go over 40. You better subscribe to me, oh my god, it's crawl.